I'm in Texas recording live from National Team Camp. I'm going to tell you everything that I saw and learned from watching Simone. Every one Simone possibly ever made. Every step, every breath, every sigh, every eye roll. Oh my God, the eye rolls, you guys. Simone gives zero shits about physical abilities testing anymore. The physical testing they do when they first get there, and you have to do a bunch of like split jumps in a row and straddle jumps in a row. You have to cast handstands a bunch of times, press handstands on B, hold a handstand on B. You have to do a long jump. Basically, Simone goes the bars, does one cast handstand, jumps off. You're supposed to just jump up and do them, right? She does another jump, cast handstand once. You go back down on the bar, front support, casts again, messes up, goes over the bar, jumps down, looks at the judge who's keeping score and is like, just waves at her like, nah, I don't care. And leaves! Doesn't do it again. Yeah. This is my favorite thing that's ever happened in the history of camp. Marta would die. I can't tell you guys what a cultural shift that is from the olden days where Simone, her first camp, she didn't do all of her V-up and Marta marched over to her and was like, what are you doing? And Simone's like, I'm tired. But it, she got in trouble. And now Simone's like, no, I don't care. <laughs> She did do the rope climb, of course, in like 0.3 seconds and talk while she was doing it. <laughs> Skills? What was Simone doing? Simone did go to vault and she did the highest Yurchenko just layout I've ever seen. From where I was sitting, I could see the high bar and Simone and her layout was as high as the high bar. So that's what, 12 feet in the air. Then she did an Aminar. I would say based on the past, I think she's probably like, I did my double pike. I proved I can do it. I did it in competition and now I'm going to go back to my Aminar. And this is another thing that's huge. It was always known during March artist camps no one could sit down the coaches weren't allowed to sit down the gymnasts weren't allowed to sit down you got on beam and you never got off the beam the whole practice simone would do a tumbling pass and then she'd sit down and relax you need to sit more when you're 26 than when you're 16 everyone was sitting it wasn't just simone the culture it's so different i feel like judging by twitter it was a suny show suny did two full rotations of beam also something you weren't allowed to do back in the day and so she's adding this mount sequence which is i think the big news in suny's composition which is the round off layout step out mount to flick flack flick flack that's an e skill and 10th of connection and a 10th of series bonus adding that in there she could have six four six four Five, even with a C dismount, you can win Olympic gold potentially with a 6-5. And if she does have a D dismount, we're talking like 6-8. It's one of the highest difficulties at the Olympics should she be there. Watching her beam, you would never know a day passed since the Olympics. Every skill was perfect. Every ring leap, everything was perfect. She was allowed to just do her thing and was supported in that, I think is like the biggest victory in all of this. She's not on the national team, which I have problems with, but anyway. And this is not a selection camp for anything. Right. This is not a verification. School. Simone's new choreography. So at first, it looks like she is pounding on a door, but pounding on the top of the door, the middle of the door, the bottom of the door. But she Hammering in three nails. Hammering like three nails. her Ikea bookshelf yes. to make sure that back stays on. She's like, let me in. Or is she hammering for justice? Mm. She could not stop laughing and her seal kept telling her, do it like this. And she kept laughing more. <laughs> so then the last time she went up on beam, she started doing hammer, hammer, and then her fist would open at the end. So I was like, Cecile, is that dice? Is she like throwing the dice? Like, let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Right? But she was like, well, I don't know because she can't stop laughing when she's doing it. My favorite thing is to make up elaborate backstories for any right. kind of choreography. Maybe it's like first Olympics done, second Olympics done, third Olympics open hand because we haven't done it yet. Oh, maybe. Rio, Tokyo. Meh. We'll see. No, I it's do what Rio, I want. Tokyo. It's going to go great. And here it is. Like open hand presenting. Oh, present. And like, you're welcome. welcome to my third Olympics. I here like that. So Shailise Jones, another member of the last two world teams, was there working on some basics. just And some layout Jaeger like and a it. huge layout Jaeger do we know where it's going in the routine or no she did it totally there? standalone like it's yeah. none of your business where this goes there's basically like three of us who know gymnastics who are there there's <laughs> so much media there's so, like way more than normal those of us that know gymnastics were like glued to the workout like I can't look away when can I go to the bathroom everyone else is yeah. just sort of sitting there bored like waiting until they could do interviews and we're like no this is the juice <laughs> when she did that the ones of us that knew gymnastics gasped we were like <gasps> That was beautiful. And everyone else was like, wait, what happened? Just so you know what it's like in the media area. I was like, you fools. She is doing a new floor routine and she choreographed it herself, which she said mm. is something she's wanted to do. I did see some parts of it. And I have to say the beginning of it is very eye catching. She's traversing all the split positions with her beautiful, long, elegant arms. Stands out mm -hmm. from the usual. Bam, bam, tumble, start. <laughs> Stands out from the usual wrist, wrist, wrist. Oh my God, the wrist, you guys. The fingers are pointing at your arm. You're doing it wrong. Every single floor routine theme is I'm a vampire <laughs> fighting the wrist monster.